Hey! Over 40% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. And if you want Chompy to eat this month, I suggest you do so. For Chompy. Hey, everybody. What? 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 Hey. All right, Minecraft stands. Settle down. Settle down. Settle down. Hey, these are my viewers now. What is going on? I held the camera for two months, and this is what I get. You know how hard I work? Oh, God. What's going on, everybody? How no. you doing today? Apparently, you guys are fucking assholes. So, I'm going to go over this. Let's talk about it. Let's figure out what the hell is going on with my life. And let's, for the first time in my entire career, let's read. All right. Uh, 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 uh. After my stream the other day, I felt like I wasn't able to. So here's, this is in order to get you guys some information on this. This is Carl Jacobs' Twitter account, okay? And Carl went live and pretty much did a, had a giant expose on him, Try which involves seven. me. Uh, this expose is that I can't believe I'm going to say this. It's disgusting that it's coming out of my mouth. That the man I looked up to for years did this. Carl Jacobs watched Ice Poseidon. I know. I know. I know. And he liked it. And he liked it. It all started with this. There was a picture of Carl that started a giant iceberg of Carl that is just disturbing. First off, it starts at the top where he took a picture with Ice Poseidon. That's it. It's literally a fucking picture. He stream sniped Ice Poseidon. He took a picture. He called it a fucking day. Then they went and they found out that Carl was on my stream and said that Ice has a big nose. And they linked that to him making fun of people who are Jewish. Because they're saying that you were referring to Ice having a big nose because he's Jewish. Which then what I said was, aren't you guys, by saying that he's saying that when he wasn't saying that, aren't you the one that's anti-Semitic? Because I know Carl wasn't saying it about being Jewish. Carl was just saying Ice is a big nose because everyone has a big, everyone makes fun of Ice Poseidon for having a big nose. Just like whenever I go on Tubbo stream, how they call me a fat fuck. Just like how I go anywhere and they call me a fat fuck. I don't give a shit because I have a stomach. Do you think Ice Poseidon cares? That's the last thing Ice Poseidon will care about what you say. Is calling him, saying that he has a big nose. Do you think he gives a shit? So that's pretty much it. Carl went live, talked about it. Uh, people were really mad at him. They still think that he didn't say enough and do enough. And I was mentioned a couple times. And then people started attacking me on Twitter. Um, I didn't really care about that. Half of the people attacking me on Twitter was my offline chat. Shout out to you guys for attacking me uh, and making me a little bit relevant. That was pretty fucking cool. So that happened. And then um, it started to get deeper. People found out and people started asking me for his logs in my chat. They're like, give me your, give me his logs. And I'm like, wow, this just shows how dumb you are. You could find this online, you idiot. They're like, we want his logs. We know he said worse. Well, he didn't. Uh, I'm not going to go find his logs. But the first thing Carl ever said in my chat was making a reference to Ice Poseidon, which was just saying what you already know he said. It was CX. It was a joke. So, let's get on to this. Let's just move on, okay? After my stream the other day, I felt like I wasn't able to express how I felt correctly, and that wasn't the best format for me to respond in. He's saying that he didn't feel like he should have went live. So I wanted to make a formal apology here where I can explicitly express myself in an organized format. That way, I can make sure that I say things in the right way. Since then, I have t taken the time to educate myself and do my best to hear people's concerns. Some people have come forward with my discomfort about me being in a stream with an old Twitch streamer, Ice Poseidon, in quotes, from a few years ago. This is a completely justified concern. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I get it. The guy's got a big nose. I shouldn't hang out with people like that. Ice Poseidon may, may be very controversial, offensive, and all types of content that I absolutely don't support. Here's my thing about that, and I'm going to say this very bluntly. Um, was Ice a very controversial, offensive, and all that stuff? Yes, but I do feel like there are a lot of viewers that could have watched Ice Poseidon that just didn't really care about the edginess part that he did and liked the part where he wasn't an edgelord and just did content. Um, it wasn't his entire stream wasn't revolved around it. Now, in the RuneScape days, look, I watched Ice a fuck ton. I watched Ice more than any other streamer in my entire life. 
if you said, if uh, Carl Jacobs said that I watched Ice Poseidon in the RuneScape days, look, you were one edgy motherfucker because every five seconds was black and TTS and people trying to say the N-word. But as he got older and as his content evolved, he really did stop being as edgy. He was still an absolute edgelord, but it wasn't that crazy. Um, and I feel like there are people that could have enjoyed his content that didn't care about uh, the edginess whatsoever. And they just liked the fact that he was he was nuts. I mean, it was, and I will still stand by this today, it was the best content I've ever seen in Twitch history. Bar none, not even close. I don't care if you say my juicer did this. I don't give a fuck who did what. There's like a level that Ice Poseidon hit on Twitch that will never be touched, and it can't be touched. I don't care what you say, you're wrong. Dude, streamers would go offline to go watch him. Off Summit 1G, in his heyday, would turn off his stream to go watch Ice. Nobody would dare stream around Ice Poseidon's time. Because you know why? The whole website of Twitch was watching Ice. Everyone was talking about him. Dude, I would run home from school. My friends would run home to school. It was actually like watching him. It was like a, a show you couldn't watch. The train wreck. That's how people would describe it, and it was. It was a fucking train wreck. You didn't know when it was going to end. You knew it was going to, but you had to watch. It was crazy. You didn't know when he was going to turn the camera, and there's just a, 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 a fucking police officer there, you know, trying to do something. And I think that you didn't need to be a massive racist piece of shit or, or even enjoy that racist part to watch Ice beside him. Maybe he was a hate watcher, Carl. Maybe Carl hated watching Ice, and he just... I don't fucking know, but Ice beside him for a long time was one of the largest people on Twitch. And back then, I was genuinely someone that looked to Twitch as my clear passion in life. Same. So I followed and watched everyone that was on the top of Twitch. Same. I know that a lot of them definitely weren't good people or aren't now. And I should have been more conscious of that in the past. See, I don't like that sentence at all. I love Carl to death, but that sentence tells me that Carl's pretty much saying that Ice Poseidon is still not a good person. And that is just not true. Um, listen, it has been four fucking years since Ice Poseidon has done shit. And if you don't think Ice has changed, you're wrong. Um, if you don't think Ice has done a lot of self-reflection and has probably said to himself, like, damn, I wish I didn't do a lot of the things I did, and I wish I changed, and I wish I didn't do shit so I could be where I, with everybody else, and, 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 you know? And I feel like Carl, right? I don't, I don't want to... Carl, I understand why he's doing this. I understand why he's made this post, but I don't think Ice deserves to be getting the same treatment that Carl's doing. It's like Carl's, like, pushing it down the ice, you know? Um... Ice has changed a lot, and I know he has, for a fact. Uh, he he just has. Has, ha has Ice had a crazier past of all this crap than anyone else? <clears throat> yeah. But I'm, I know he's changed. I understand that is absolutely from a place of privilege, which is something that I have actively learned from. Just to explain how I ended up on his stream, he was doing an IRL stream in my city when I lived there. And when I had the ability to show up on one of the biggest streamer's streams at one point, I decided to show up where he was streaming uninvited. So? <laughs> I would do the same damn thing, dude. I mean, yo, I'm live in front of like 20,000 people. That's fucking sick. I would, do, I did do, I, I, I did do the same damn thing, but I do sincerely apologize as I have for a while now understood that this could have been viewed as endorsement. Bro, Carl, just admit it. You liked watching Ice, man. <laughs> like, you, you liked watching the guy. And there's nothing wrong with that. I, I don't understand how people think, like, these Minecraft kids are just like the kids, the children. They think that their, their people are clean slates. They think they don't understand what the internet was like five years ago. They don't understand, man. Six years ago. Modern Warfare 2 lobbies were literally, if someone wasn't screaming the F word on the top of their lungs, you were offline. That's just a fact. If you weren't hearing someone scream the F word or say the N word to somebody, you were not in a Call of Duty lobby. It's just the truth. You were muted. There was something not going on. It's the internet culture. And I'm going to be real with you, as someone who's been on the internet, I'm an old fuck now, right? The internet, and in my personal opinion, has gotten better as time's gone on each year in terms of people who are, you know, we're, we're getting better as, as a whole. As a whole, we are. Dude, the F and N word in Call of Duty back in the day, if, like, like I said, it was what everyone said. It's not what you didn't. Everyone said it. Everyone. It's, it was edgelord. It was toxic. It was crazy. But I think as time's gone on, it's gotten so much better. And why... I, I, you know, why are these, these kids, like, they, like, grew up as, like, Spongebob with no holes. They're like, yo, what's going on, everybody? Like, oh, my God. Like, this guy curses. Dude, they don't realize how it's been. Twitch as a whole has grown, you know? You guys have grown as a, as a community. We've grown. Remember? 
Remember five, six years ago, where if the N-word got on stream, how you guys would say lol and laugh, and people would start thinking that's funny, that people would get the N-word through donations and stuff like that? Nowadays, you guys cringe it, and it's good you do. You guys think it's cringe. You're like edginess in 2021, yikes. You guys don't en endorse it in the slightest anymore. We have progressive uh, gone and gotten better, and that's great. The internet has grown up as a whole, you know? But I, I don't understand why Carl gets attacked and, and, and needs to defend himself for growing up. I think that is fantastic, you know? What's the point of having any argument ever? What's the point of anybody ever trying to persuade your opinion if it can't be persuaded? And what these kids tr are pretty much saying is, Carl Jacobs is the person he was five years ago and he's trying to hide it. This dude paints his nails, doesn't even curse, and, and puts his hand over his face when he laughs. Do you really think he's the same dude from five years ago? No, he's changed completely. And that's good. He's a great kid. He's the nicest guy in the world. And then a lot of them are like, Miz, listen, we're doing this so he understands his actions and he doesn't do it again. Look at him. Look at him. Has he done anything? He said CX in my chat as a joke. He put it, he said that Ice Poseidon is a big ass nose. The dude does have a big ass nose, all right? And I have a big ass stomach, you know? And then they're like, we're just trying to make sure that he understands. <sighs> Do you really think tens of thousands of toxic stands going after somebody is the way to make him understand? How about, you may think that that's what everyone's doing, but how about the people that are doxing him? How about the people that are death threats with him? How about everything else? How about the fact that Carl can't eat or sleep at night because he's having anxiety over his entire fan base? How about the fact that Carl Jacobs can't, like, like doesn't even want to go on streams because of this? Like, is that really, like, good punishment? You know what I mean? Is that good punishment? Ruining the kid's life? Making him absolutely miserable? No. It's just dumb. And I get these stands may think that they're doing something right, but they're doing the exact opposite. They're promoting people to attack Carl. Um, and it's so wrong, but... I don't, don't endorse any of his actions, and I stopped watching his content a long time ago. I'm extremely sorry to anyone that heard we had met and was impacted in a negative way. I never want anyone to feel uncomfortable in this community or have doubts of, on of who I am as a person. I also wanted to talk about the clip of me on... Here I am, baby. Here on Ms. Kiff's stream, explaining why I've been in Ms. Kiff's chat log saying CX, a reference to Ice Poseidon, more, more recently than any time I've ever watched Ice Poseidon's content. It's a joke, dude. It's a joke. These Minecraft kids just don't get jokes. They just don't get it. Carl came on my stream as a joke because he saw that it was someone that, like, maybe my chat was spamming CX. And, and like, that's it. It was a fucking joke. It was a joke. It's like, hey, I used to watch him too, buddy. You know what? We all did. And I know a lot of my viewers did. And guess what? A lot of my Twitch viewers and a lot of viewers in Twitch in general back then watched Ice Poseidon. <gasps> a lot of your favorite streamers watched Ice Poseidon. But a lot of Twitch viewers did as well. Mostly, th think about just Twitch viewers. And guess what? Like I said, they all grew up. A lot of people on Twitch nowadays, they don't condone that shit. They don't do that shit. And we've kind of evolved as an internet. And it's a, and it's a progressive way. It's great. Um, and Carl just saying CX was just a joke that he used to watch Ice Poseidon. Bro, everybody did. Much more recently than any time I ever watched Ice Poseidon content in this clip, I explained that I was probably typing it in a, pro in a reference where a video game character on the stream had a large nose. When Ice Poseidon used to be one of the biggest streamers, other streamers jokingly picked on him for having a larger nose. I cannot believe that he has to explain this. That he picked, he made fun of Ice for having a big nose. I didn't realize this could come across in a way of as racially charged. Or charged with any form of anti-Semitism. They just, Carl literally just said that Ice has a big nose. And I feel like the, like I said, if you're per someone that is claiming that it's anti-Semitism, you, how do you go down that road? How do you how do you enjoy life? How do you how do you make fun of anyone? How do you have any friends? How do you talk to people? If you can't make fun of a dude, that is that is a, on a scale of one to ten of an ice Poseidon joke. That is a one, in terms of being bad. You know what I mean? That is a one. If Carl came on stream and called ice a shekel goblin, right? Which is one something that ice used to get called. Um, I can see what they're saying with that, right? But a big nosed dude then you might as well cancel all of XQC's 100,000 viewers because they make fun of XQC for having a big nose every single day. 
You should cancel all my 20,000 viewers who constantly shit on me for being fat. If they're going to pick on, if they're going to say that uh, this, then why don't they pick on every single Minecraft streamer who's made fun of me for being fat or ugly? I, like, you know what I mean? I've been educated recently on why this can be hurtful to Jewish people. Oh my God. And that was never at all my intention. And so I'm very sorry. It really wasn't. <laughs> I mostly want to get across that I'm genuinely sorry for anyone that I have affected. Uh, I know that it's important to lead anyone that follows me as a mascot of positivity and uh, as it's important to lead anyone that follows me as a mascot of positivity and comfort. The dude does. He's a giggly, fun child or kid. I don't understand how he doesn't do that. He does do that. I, and he's, these stands just attack him, make him feel like shit. And part of that is acknowledging when I make mistakes and apologizing for them. I promise to show change. Dude, you have. That I won't let things like this happen again because I want everyone to feel comfortable being a part of a community as you all do genuinely mean a lot to me. Love you guys. Thank you for hearing me out. I'm genuinely sorry, Carl. Will the following streamers please come forward and address that they used to watch Ice Poseidon. You too deserve to be canceled for what you have done over the years. Watching this man five years ago. Let's give it up. Started the head of the class, seven billion subs and counting. Let's give a round of applause to the man, the myth, Mr. Jonathan D. Beach. Beast. <laughs> Seen here giving money to a big nose freak. Who else do we have on our list chat of people that used to watch Ice Poseidon? You know who you got? You got me! You got Just Minx! You got Son of 1G! You got Shroud! You got X2C! Stream sniping him, going to his house! Soda Poppin! Mitch Jones! Asmigold! Trainwreck! Oh, probably is getting canceled anyway. Face Banks! We got X! I don't know if counts for two months. Dr. Disrespect! Loves his content. Lyrics. 90% of your streamers watch Nice Decided. I am sorry. No one has a clean slate. And dare I say it, the number one Minecraft stand community of all. Erob. Austin. Everybody watched Ice. Cancel them all! Get them all out of here! I want nothing but normal Spongebob's in my chat. Nothing but smiles and hearts. Yeah, chat, do not be toxic, okay? Austin, uh, did not watch Ice. Rush did! Rush Patel! They all did, boys. Cancel them all. Get them all out of here. I'm being serious. It's like, please, it'd actually be great for my content, but... Dream Defended? There's three types of people on the internet. People who don't have... have done... And, oh my god! It is Dream! There's three types of people on the internet. People who have done or said dumb stuff on the internet. People who haven't used the internet long enough. And three liars. How you respond and grow from your mistakes you made is what should define you, not your mistakes. Exactly. I Dream is 100% right on this. I'm sure Dream also watched... Uh, Ice Poseidon back in the day. What is the point of anyone's job to try to persuade your opinion? What is the point of anyone trying to grow if you can't grow? They don't allow you to, you know, make mistakes five years ago and try to adapt. I understand if Carl was watching Ice Poseidon yesterday and they caught him and like, you know what? He was spamming try hard CX and watermelon in, in people's chats, but it was five fucking years ago. I'm pretty strong of a person emotionally, but I feel so drained, isolated, and alone. I haven't felt this bad in years. And the social media game is so fucking dehumanizing. Everyone and everyone says it for attention and clout. No one has anyone's back, and I can't take it. I'm a person too. Yeah, I, I feel bad. Because the reality is of everyone takes, like, just shits on him. And I get it. I, I totally understand why people attacked Ice, right? For the way he acted years ago. But it's been four fucking years, man, since this shit. Four fucking years. And if you really cared and looked at Ice's content, you would know that Ice, as his stream was going on, I watched every Ice Poseidon stream, okay? That as years went on with Ice Poseidon, he got less and less edgy. 
he got less and less of that person. And he did. Um, when he first started in RuneScape, it was the most edgy, racist shit I've ever seen in my entire life. And I cannot defend that. I didn't watch it, to be honest with you. I started watching Ice. I couldn't watch RuneScape. I thought it was so fucking boring. Um, I only watched the Hurricane stream, and that's pretty much it. But as time went on, it did get way less and less edgy. It just did. And Ice grew up as a person. And I'm sure he did with the internet as well. Because you all did. We all did. I did too. Did I used to make edgy jokes 24-7? Yeah, I did. Um, I used to make edgy jokes all the time. It was my life. You know, I was just on Skype with my friends in World of Warcraft. Like, what else did I have to do? But I grew up. And I know a lot of you guys did too. I know a lot of you guys feel the same way I do. Where you make, made edgy ass fucking jokes. And now you don't. You know? Like, I was listening to uh, a Lil Wayne song yesterday. Right? Because I'm old. And the amount of times that dude said the F word in one song. is like, I, I, I couldn't count my hand. Right? I used my toes. Uh, but that's just how the internet was back then. No one gave a shit. Not, so I, don't, I, I, don't, I, didn't, I don't think a single person cared back then. But it's just, it's how the internet has evolved nowadays. And that's good. We're progressive. We're growing. But uh, it's just how it was. But people just don't want to admit that they did that shit. They're liars. They're just straight up liars. <laughs> no! <laughs> okay, wait. I want to talk about what Mizkip is saying on stream right now. Dash. So right, RN, he's talking about, holy fuck, I can't, if you're not going to be able to type it out, I'm not, like, it was it that important to tweet? So RN, he's talking the, the Carl situation. He's like, well, everyone did, like, bad things a few years back. Which, while that may be slightly true, that doesn't make it okay. People of, okay. Just in that sentence, Carl's changed. That may be slightly true that you're saying that. It doesn't make it okay. It wasn't, it's not that we're saying it's okay. It's we're, we're glad people changed. What's the point of pu putting people in jail? It's to make them change, Right? You want people to change and understand what they did was wrong and come back better. Carl, for years, has done dog shit, but or not dog shit. You know, he's been nothing but happy ho and played Minecraft and been a great kid. Why do you have to tackle for three years, four years ago? It's just so stupid. People of privilege making fun of minorities. For example, saying slurs that they cannot, re cannot reclaim still hurts. It doesn't matter if it was five years ago and everyone said it. It really does matter, man. It, it really does matter. I'm sorry. It does matter that it was five fucking years ago. It, it, it really does. I'm, I'm, it's, I'm sorry that it's half your lifetime, but it really does matter that the entire internet was completely different back then, and you weren't on it. You don't know what you're talking about. It really does matter that the internet was a shithole of edginess, and you weren't there for it. You just weren't there, and it does make a difference when... Uh, it, it, it was five fucking years ago. It was five years ago, dude. You don't think people grow up in five years? Everyone grows up, man. I grew up. I grew up so hard. I grew up, I've grown up more in the past five years than I did my entire life. Hands down. And whether it's from um, Twitch TOS, whether it's from uh, myself just in general, or like, you know, I've gotten more things that I have more responsibilities for. I have grown up. We've all grown up. And you know, Carl's grown up too, and he's done a great job. Carl has done a fantastic job of being that person. But the problem is that these people perceive Carl as, like, a god status. And Carl kind of did it to himself. Where, like, he's like this, like, oh, my God, I love you. Puts my hand over my, uh, my face to, to, to not show my laugh. And, and I'm wearing, like, a, like a baggy sweater. It, it really does fucking matter. I don't know how you could say it doesn't matter that it was five fucking years ago and everybody said it. it, re it tell that to everyone in chat who used to say the F word. Every single one of them. I guarantee you 99% of my community, if they're over the age of 20, has said the F word. And it wasn't even, a, I'm telling you, they can cancel me for this, go for it. It wasn't even seen as a bad word. It was seen as fuck. It was seen as fuck. That's all it was for. I swear, that's all it was. If you weren't playing video games back then, you wouldn't know. You were five, it was five years ago. It's, it, I didn't even flinch when I when I would heard someone say it to me. I wouldn't even flinch. I promise you that almost no one wants to, to, these CCs to suffer. They just want a simple apology for their past actions. You say you want just a simple apology, but you don't realize what you're doing. You're cultivating tens of thousands of people to go after Carl Jacobs and call him a piece of shit. Say that they're not watching him anymore. Blocking him. You're not just saying that you want to punish him. Punishing is just one person tweeting at him or something. There's not even a thing of punishment. When 10,000 people go after Carl Jacobs, you're not punishing him. There are going to be people that are saying, I hate this guy. I'm going to dox him. People are giving him death threats. A lot of people, I saw a lot of comments say, if you follow, if you follow Carl Jacobs, I want you to uh, uh, unfriend me. 
Do you really think that's saying that we just want Carl to say that, oh, like, like he, look, Carl, we still love you, buddy, but uh, it's perfectly okay. You guys do this every time you cancel somebody. You say, look, if you follow blank and blank, I want you to just completely unfollow me and don't talk to me and I'll block you. He is a piece of shit. Yeah, that's really saying, Carl, we just want an apology for what you did five fucking years ago. We want you to understand what you did. It's just such shit. <sighs> They just want a simple apology. He gave that to you, and apparently that wasn't enough. You guys criticized the shit out of him for a, a, a simple apology. His simple apology is when he went live two days ago and said, Hey, I'm sorry for my actions. Then you guys attacked everything he said, and you're... I saw the comments. Half the comments were people going like, Hey, did you see Carl Jacobs? He was stuttering and laughing the entire time. That dude doesn't give a flying fuck. He still watches Ice Poseidon. No, he doesn't. He doesn't watch Ice Poseidon. You know what? Like, 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 he's nervous laughing because there's 130,000 people in his chat and he's fucking nervous. You're, make, you're literally making fun of a kid that's getting nervous. To, have you ever gone in front and, and talked to a person before? Have you ever had public speaking? It's not easy. Um, he was nervous laughing. You could just see it. It's blatantly obvious, but you're 10 years old, so you have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, they just want a simple apology. Oh. Saved. I just went back. <laughs> All right, last tweet about this. Nobody is saying that these people haven't grown. Most of the mistakes people are, make are from years ago, and it's clear that they have changed for the better. But that doesn't still take away their past actions. You should just, you should be happy. It's, honestly, I think people that were bad and got good are much, they should be proud of them. You should just be proud of them. I, I don't understand how you can't, like, I'd be so proud of Carl being like, man, you used to watch this Edgelord like, you know, content and stuff like that, and now you are a better person. You are you are a definitely a better person now. Good for you, dude. That's how it should be. It should you shouldn't be why do people with, with Carl Jacobs, why? Why why can't you be proud of him for changing? Instead you attack him for being different back then. Why can't you should be saying to him you uh, himself, wow, good on Carl for changing. I didn't know his past like this. I didn't know that Carl Jacobs was about this kind of life, but now he's on a completely different leaf, and he's such a nice, lovable guy, and he cares so much about his community. Good for him. But instead, you attack him for something he can't control that he did five fucking years ago, which wasn't even bad. It's not like the dude was screaming the N-word in a back alleyway, you know, playing Marco Polo, and the dude was just, uh, uh, watched Ice Poseidon. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. These, like... I know a lot of the stands aren't like this. I know a lot of them aren't like this. I, I I do. I've read a lot of the comments, and honestly, a lot of the comments were saying this. Carl, why are you why are you apologizing? So it's not like all the the stands out there are just you know going after Carl Jacobs and attacking him. But what it does is it's a snowball effect. They see some stands attacking him. Wow. You know why they do all this chat? They don't give a flying fuck. You know why they do any of this? Attention. That's why they do it. They do it for likes, and they do it for attention. That's why all of them do it. That's why they all tweet. No one has ever tweeted for the sake of not getting attention. It's for attention. They want their own pocket of attention from Carl getting shit. That is literally it. You are getting, you are wanting attention from someone in pain. Are you a good person? I'd much rather hang out with someone that watches Ice Poseidon than hang out with somebody that wants, so that someone is suffering, and you're wanting to get pain by getting likes and comments. That is to me is just the worst thing. That is the most fucked up shit. You know Carl's in pain. You know he's upset. If you care about him, and if you, apparently you do care about him, why are you attacking him? Because you want two likes on your tweet. Sorry, four. Now that's huge. I just wish some of them would learn. But the thing is, I don't know if they will because it requires them to not get attention, right? But I think some of them can get attention by saying the right things, which is, guys, we should be saying good job, Carl, not fuck you, Carl. We should be saying good job. For in the past five years, you've completely changed as a person. You've learned and you've become more progressive and you are much better. Rather than, fuck you, Carl, for what you were five years ago. I'm unfollowing you and I never want to talk to you again. I cannot believe what was in your closet. You should be happy that he cleaned his closet. That he's a different person now. That he has changed as a person. Dude, it would be so... How do we get there from XUC getting banned? It would be so difficult to stream every single day if you guys were like that. It would be impossible, man impossible i would get canceled every single day on twitch there's not a single day where you can't cancel me i would get canceled every day these kids just can't have fun i swear i swear the the kids today if they act like that there's no fun in their life no fun it is just a straight line